Focus, I think it is uh, really clear what it means. Focus, like you have only one target and one goal to get to. And in diversifying the other methods, there exists the classic diversification, the hedging, and the insurance. Well, the classic diversification is like you have a portfolio, like a financial portfolio when you buy a lot of co companies' actions. So in that case, the risk gets even out and you have more possibilities of winning money. The other is the hedging. The hedging is when you make an investment and, and you make several. For example, have you seen when they won like the Super Bowl and one team wins and they are selling already the, their t-shirt outside that said, you know, like Tampa Bay won? How do they do that? Is that they produce half of shares that say that Tampa Bay won and have the other half says that the other team won. So the price, for example, is, I don't know, 40 bucks and the production price is 10 bucks. So you're actually <coughs> just losing, but you have the opportunity of getting to those consumers right, right there in the moment. Or, if, or another example could be like books. For example, in book, bookstores produce like 10 books and for each 10 books, only one makes a profit. But that, that book that makes a profit makes a, a large profit that evens out all the losses on the other books. That you have no option of, of knowing they're going to win money or not. And the last one is insurance. That is to get something in a way to insure yourself against a loss. For example, making a way off or a strike to walk out of the, of the deal or buying a future or something like that. What is, what is the difference again between portfolio and hedging? Portfolio is when you have a, lot, a different portfolio of options and you just have like, even mess out everything, you know? Like um, financial portfolio when you're investing in your money. And a hedging is when you buy all the options. Or for example, another example that, that I can use is uh, the angel investors. For example, you have like 10, 10, 10 cards or 10 companies, only one is going to make a profit. But you choose to put money in all of them because you know that the money that that company that is going to win money will be the profit will be larger than the, the rest of your losses. Yep. Okay. In scenario one, that is clear enough future. Future. Uh, there is like only one strategy that is focused because your scenario is so clear that uh, it's so predictable that you only have one potential strategy and having a portfolio strategy will only be a lot of money and resources. So our uh, example in focus is um, Comisión Federal de Electricidad. Someone explain it, please. Well, as Comisión Federal de Electricidad is a governmental company, they are the only ones that can sell the, the energy. They, can only, they only use one strategy, that is to continue to sell in energy because they have no competition. For example, like a monopoly or... That is when you have a certain level of, of uncertainty that is, you know, that you know what is going to happen. So you just put all your money in, in what you know is going to, to work. Well, here in Sierra 2, you have some future, the future is predictable. You have to identify a clear potential strategy between some some possible scenarios. For example, you just in many cases you just have, for example, an optimistic, a normal, and a pessimistic scenario. Those are the possibilities <coughs> of um, of the business to happen. For example, you have to in this one. The options are, again, hedging and insurance are often valuable risk management tactics. The insurance may be viable even when hedging tactics are too expensive and shapers must avoid loss of influence cost if they are to be successful. This means that you have to, in, this, in both scenarios, you have probabilities and you have to decide, to decide then uh, what to what to do to this diversify or to to focus in one target depending on the the most optimistic strategy you want the strategy you want to happen yeah just to clarify for example in diversify we have the example of adobe the uh, software and it, it is uh, adapted to microsoft and to apple because the company don't know uh, what's the what the decision will be of the people if they are gonna buy an, a Mac or a 
PC. And they adapt the, the software to both um, options. And for Microsoft? Yeah, and for Focus, is yeah, the focus on also in this, this part is, for example, Microsoft has bought shares from, from Apple. So either, either way, if they lost money, they win in, in from the shares of Apple. So if that's the way. And to focus on this scenario, just to you, you don't have like a lot of options. So you know that there's only two or three big competitors that, like in this case, that is Apple. So you put on your bets on on one system that you believe is going to to win. So when you say scenario two, it's because you are level two or yeah. two? Yeah, the scenario is the same as the level. Level one, you have just... We divided, we divided into four levels of uncertainty. This is the level two. And we have two options, focus and diversify. Diversify, we will later see a graph with all the recommendations of which strategy of diversify we should use. And so this one is heading. In the last one, we have only the possibility to focus, but mm, Next, uh, later we are going to show you a chart who explains it more clearly. Well, in the third level, you have two strategies. One is diversified, and the other one is uh, insurance. In the diversified, for example, is one example is Procter & Gamble, that they have many products, so they like experiment, and they know what the market want. So for example, in if they want to sell more products, they know the market. And the insurance is that they like uh, buy insurance for the, um, for example, in the future, here we put Maseca and Bimbo because they buy like, like uh, all the materials. For, well, for example, now in the DX, DX you, for example, I am Bachoco, I am about like thousand of eggs, and now that I, that the price is high, I sell at the same price in like uh, the last month. Do you understand? Well, uh, as you know, in the, in the third level of uncertainty, we have a range of futures. So you can insurance your, your profits by uh, shopping a lot of grains. Yeah. Or over a lot of corn to make the tortillas or the bread uh, in the future at the price that is uh, today. You say you buy ten more, ten, ten times more at the price at the actual price, and if in the future the price rises, you have uh, uh, the, a lot of supply. Mm -hmm. uh, sure, it helps to keep to keep your variable costs in a range. So if, if, for example, I don't know, something when you start burning and, and all the grains start burning, you, you just have the treaty with somebody that you're going to pay a certain amount, so that, that way your cost variables will not rise. And for example, in the case of classic diversification, we'll be Procter & Gamble, because they have like a big super range of products, so they just keep, like, they just keep moving and the risk will be even out if one brand doesn't do it and another brand hits the market of that one. But so when in level three you just diversify. You just diversify in that. That's it. Yeah. And why do why, you, why do you know use hedging? Because there's a, a high level of probability that you will lose your money because you will be like you know the you will make you will have a lot of uh, yeah futures, rich futures. Rich futures. Mm -hmm. So it's more difficult because you have you need a lot of money and a lot of investment to to make it. And why not focusing because mm -hmm. this is more pro this is better because you can. See all the different options, mm -hmm. and it's you have like broader or spectrum that you can do lower. The probability to success is lower. For, yeah, but, so you can. It's better to use the classic diversification and an insurance in this case. Yep. M four. Well, the first scenario is when you have like totally improbable things to to manage. The recent session, and there's the, these possible options. You can use um, a focus option only in these three case scenarios. If you want to, um, if, classic in most, if classic diversification involves a portfolio of real options, so you can have another way to, to move it. Yeah? Sorry, just put my notes. <laughs> ah, I know, yeah. we're, we're having the clock right there. Ah, <laughs>
and shaper must avoid the use of influence costs if they want to be successful. So if you're a shaper, you want to keep focusing. You want to keep on shaping the, the, the way of the market. That's for example, uh, one example I would think was Tesla. Because they were focusing on creating a, a niche market. That is an automobile, electric automobile market. And they are the ones that want to shape it. Okay, and if you want to classic diver and diversify, for example, we have Amazon because they have a lot of, uh, also a big range of different businesses that they can use. So you can use classic diversification or focusing. Wait, do you get it? No, 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 no,
and they have that insurance that if you don't know if the cornfields start to burn, they will still be paying 15 pesos for the tortillas. Okay. That's the way they, that you can insure us. They, they don't know if the price uh, of the corn will rise or will get down, mm -hmm. but they insure the. And the classic, price. and classic uh, diversification is like adapting. That no matter what happens, you are prepared with one product that will give you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. With another options mm -hmm. you can make. Yes. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so insurance is always about the cost or the or the price. You're, you're trying to reduce a future expense of money, or what? You're, you're, trying to, yeah, you're trying to reduce your risk of okay. losing. For example, another mm, insurance mm, strategy will be to have, a, you know, like, like an exit strategy. For example, mm, an exit strategy in a business plan will be that if, I don't know, if we lose and we get the money, our way to get out of it will be to sell it the, you know, the, the company at certain level, for example, that will be an insurance, or, or maybe by, or another thing that companies use is that they used to put money also in in a in in a fund or an investment fund, mm -hmm. so they will have an, an investment in their their other case that they will not have their their money back. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Any more questions? Any more you can questions? use some of the strategies at the same time. Sorry. You can use some of these strategies at the same time, like yeah. insurance. And for example, you can in in a case of level four, um, le level four. Yeah, you can you can buy, for example, a policy of ret a returning policy. For example, let's say you're putting a shop and you don't know if it's going to sell. You can ask for ninety days of of free trial, for example, with with your supplier. So you're using this strategy, and you're the first one in the market to introduce it. You can use you're using the, the, these two strategies. So you can make a mix and match and also make a mix and match with all the other things that we saw. For example, as we saw, if you were a shaper, what you want to do in this one will be to focus. To focus on your money because you are the one that are shaping the market. Okay? If you will be an adapting company, you will rather diversify or insurance. Okay? And you will want to do it maybe now. <laughs> or later. <laughs> or later. <laughs> Why not? Pretty good. I think we've run out of time. Um, no, we haven't. Still got two and a half minutes. Any more questions?